<laughs> Look at that. Big thanks to Napoleon Grills for sponsoring this episode. Today, I'm making candy char siu. Chinese barbecue is a well-known barbecue item. It's the cuisine that everybody knows about but really doesn't think about as barbecue dish. And the reason for that is because most of the barbecue that Chinese do happens behind closed curtains. Now we're revealing it so you can actually make Chinese barbecue at home. And we're starting with char siu. It is an absolute beautiful dish and it's well known for its red color. And I happen to have a beautiful piece of pork hanging in my dry aged cabinet. So I'm gonna take that out. Now, don't worry if you don't have a dry aging cabinet at home, you can use any type of pork, but the best one is pork belly. Now this is a local grown piece of pork and it looks absolutely gorgeous. And it's been hanging here for over four weeks. So it's time I start taking pieces <laughs> of it and start using it. It's locally farmed and I butchered it together with some friends living nearby. And now I'm gonna take out the belly that is perfect for our char siu. And what I really wanna see is this piece right here. All that beautiful meat mixed up with a little bit of fat. So I'm gonna take off the skin and all of that excess fat that sits on the back. Because for our char siu, we want at least 70% to be meat. So now I got this beautiful clean piece of meat. Now of course, that's not how we're gonna be consuming our char siu. I want this to sit on skewers. So I'm gonna trim it up so that it's gonna fit my skewer. I'm gonna cut it in half, and then I'm gonna turn this into strips. About a centimeter thick is absolutely perfect. And now I've ended up with all these beautiful pieces of meat with a little bit of fat on top. Now, if you have a big piece of fat like this, don't put it in your char siu. That's not gonna be as tasty. But what this is good for is rendering down into beautiful pork lard. So I'm saving that piece. Now I'm gonna put this in a bowl so we can start on our marinade. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is chop up some garlic. I'm gonna chop up four large cloves. And then slice fine about 40 grams of fresh ginger. Then add 100 milliliters of rice wine vinegar and 150 milliliters of dark soy sauce. About 50 milliliters of honey, and then just follow it up with five tablespoons of five spice powder. Now I'm gonna mix this up, and as you can see, we're getting a beautiful dark brown color. This is not the red color that we're looking for, it is the color of flavor. Now look at this, it looks super, super tasty, but it's lacking the red color. If you're fine with that, don't add any food coloring. It's just adding things that you really don't need. However, it's fun to serve your guests something and make it look like the original thing from the Chinese store. Now, some people say the red color comes from fermented red tofu, but in reality, that's not really the case because that red fermented tofu doesn't give that dark red color. It comes from food coloring. Now, I found this in my supermarket basically for coloring fondant and it's got a few colors in them, blue, yellow, and red. If you wanna make it blue, you can make it blue, but we're gonna stick with red for now. Come on, do blue. <laughs> it would be cool to do blue. Blue, maybe next time, blue sticks. All right, let's put the red food coloring in. And as you can see, I'm not adding a lot. This is around a teaspoon or so. Don't get this stuff in your clothes. Now mix it up again. And you can instantly see this change to red. Look at that. That's just crazy. Now I'm gonna stick this in the fridge and the minimum is four hours of marinating time, but preferably overnight. Char shoe is almost done and I wanna get it on the rotisserie, but to get that much on the rotisserie, I'm gonna use a cool tool. This is a shish kebab skewer set. I've never used this before. Whoa. <laughs> but I think this is gonna be the trick to make a really tasty char siu. This might actually be a really crazy good working tool. I've never used it before and I just saw it in, oh, I have these things laying around and I know it's not normal and I know it's crazy, but I got them. But look at this, this is kind of cool. You put, <laughs> put the shish kebabs on, put it on a rotisserie and you can load it up, maximize all of the surface. This is gonna be so good. Now I got them all skewered up and I got two pieces of char siu on each skewer. 
looking absolutely delicious. Not as red as I want it to be, gotta admit that. Let's give this a try. That looks kind of cool, right? I'm digging this. You know, the rotisserie is a very, very important tool on the barbecue. It just allows things to crunch up and become absolutely delicious. So let's turn it on and let it rotate. Of course, I want to turn on a burner. Now you have the options to put the burners on at the bottom and let the heat come from down below. Or you have the option in this case, since we're using the Napoleon Prestige with the back burner to turn on the back burner, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn on the gas, then hit the ignition button. The gas that is burning is going to heat up the metal plate that sits in the back. So it's going to be red glowing hot, just like you would have in one of those shawarma places. This infrared heat is going to radiate onto the meat and it's going to make it crunchy on the outside and juicy on the inside. And it's done. I just need it to be over 65 degrees Celsius. And when it has reached that core temperature, you know they're good to go. All then you need is a little bit of crunchiness on the outside. You don't want it to blacken and it would blacken easily because it's so sugary and so sweet already. So it's time to take it off the grill, let it rest. And then in the meantime, we're gonna make a candy glaze. There's many ways to make a candy glaze. You can take sugar, heat it up, and then let it wrap around and cool down so it becomes real, real candy. But I also want to add flavor, so I'm going to use more than just sugar. Starting with my Scotsberg pan, this is a lightweight cast iron pan, and it's freaking amazing. I'm going to put it on the side burner. And that side burner from Napoleon is going to be crazy, crazy hot. So now you got the heat and you get the sugar that we're going to put in. And normally I would be very afraid of my pan because both of those things can destroy a cheap pan. Not this one. This is really durable. Because if you destroy that coating with all that sugar that becomes hard again, you don't have to worry about it. You can rebuild it. Now. Let's load it up with sugar. This is about 200 grams. And to that, I'm going to add 200 grams of honey. And to match the flavor profile of the char siu, I'm going to add two tablespoons of five spice powder. Now stir it up, let the sugar dissolve. And once it becomes nice and dark, it's done. And now it's time to glaze that beautiful char siu, becoming super, super sticky, very, very tasty. I'm just going to cover every little part of it. And while that sugar is cooling down on the meat, it becomes so crunchy and so tasty. And I'm gonna let this sit aside here on a little bit of paper, let it cool down, and then I'm gonna finish the rest of it. <laughs> Look at that! Cotton candy, char shoe. And now all that's left to do is try. Oh, it's gonna be sweet. Mm. Whoa, that is so odd. Mmm, mmm, it's so sticky. It's salty and it's like super, super flavorful, tender. And crispy at the same time. This goes so well together. It is mind blowing. That's what this is. Candy on a stick with meat inside of it. Mm. It's crazy sticky. Mm. It just sticks to your mouth. It's mm. like, yeah. it's almost hard to eat because then it sticks to your teeth. Mm. But you want to keep eating it so good. It, it goes so well together with the pork. It's so well balanced. That's about it. You gotta make this. Yeah. You can find the recipe down below. You know who's gonna love this? My kids. I click on the next recipe. It's right here. Mmm. The Morrison's face. I can't speak. And let us know if you like this video. Give us a big thumbs up in the comment down below. Hope to see you guys next time. Until then, eat smartly. And keep on making candy. Woohoo!